let me answer the first question, what is a keyframe? Each layer inside of After Effects has its own properties. Here in the transform panel we have five different properties. As we add in effects or anything else, we get more and more of those properties. Let me for example go to the effects panel and choose the most basic effect of all, the fill option. I drag the fill option inside of the background layer and the fill option has appeared under the effect property and it has its own properties. The basic color is red. Let me set it back to a blue one. And on the left side we have this little timer icon. As I click on them, a keyframe is appearing inside of the timeline. Graphically, a keyframe is a little icon on the timeline. A keyframe will indicate change in the value of any property here. For example, I will start out with the blue color. I will move forward on the timeline one second and I will change the color to a green one. After Effects is automatically setting a keyframe for us, but if you want to do this manually, you can also move the playhead and press here to add a new keyframe. The first keyframe was blue, the second keyframe is green. Let me go forward to two seconds and I will make it red because the background is getting angry. Right now we have set three keyframes which change the color value of the fill effect inside of the background layer. I know this sounds just a tiny bit weird and difficult, but don't worry, if you will try it a few times, you will get familiar with it and with all the options here. And now I want to show you the most beautiful thing about motion graphics software and overall about animations. Since we have the two colors, After Effects is interpolating between them so we don't have to go over and change the color manually each second we go forward. As the playhead moves in the video, After Effects is automatically shifting from one color to another. And the same goes for all the properties you would like to have. For example, if I go to the scale, I go to the first second, I press the keyframe on the scale. Right now, this background layer has 100% size. But once I arrive at two seconds, I would like it to be maybe half its size to 50%. I don't have to do this manually. I have two keyframes. One keyframe has 100%, the second keyframe has 50%. As I move the playhead, the keyframe is automatically interpolating between the two values I've set. So these are the basics you need to know about keyframes. If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel for more After Effects content and future answers to some questions you may have.